And we're back for another episode of Colonel the Frog, also known as Kit, Blind Let's Plays Undertale, where you come to see me be awful, awful, awful at this game, and also to talk with uh, Belial and April uh, about the game and, uh, you know, my opinions on it and where they all go. Um, again, uh, I'd like to go ahead and thank ZombieCam, a dear friend and member of the channel, for going ahead and getting Undertale so I could actually go ahead and do this. Uh, again, this one goes out to you, buddy. Alright, so we're going to head to the library, because information. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. That look in your eye. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? Well, not really. <laughs> I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. I suppose that'd make it easier. Cough, cough. When I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Are you the only one? Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say master or monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of the soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. <laughs> okay. So what does my soul have in it? Monster History Part 4. During the humans no longer, we moved off of our old city, out of our own city home. We braved harsh cold, damp swampland, and searing heat until we reached what we now call our capital, New Home. Again, our king is really bad at names. Let's go back to the beginning here. So, a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and we spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Um, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of... Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. Okay. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Here I am, writing this book. Person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill... Um, let's end the chapter here. Well, I guess that uh, kind of gives a bit of lore to the setting. What do we got? Oh, someone is just full. Mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. Well, I mean, that's what you're supposed to do with junk mail. What about this one? This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Look inside. Okay. It's empty. <laughs> Hello, Bone Brothers. I assume you're here. It's locked. It's locked from the inside. Follow the ice cubes. Oh boy, it's cold out here. And we walk on through the blizzard up until we nearly freeze to death. If not freeze to death. Well, hello, Papyrus. Human! Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like... The joy of finding another pasta lover. The admiration for another's puzzle sculpting skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think that you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now! I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great papyrus, will be your... No. No. This is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human! I 
must capture you. Then, I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus. The newest member of the Royal Guard. Papyrus blocks the way. Okay. Check. He likes to say, Nyeh -heh -heh. Nyeh -heh -heh. Okay. He's rattling his bones. Oh, we'll flirt with you. What? Flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings! Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti. I have zero redeeming qualities. I can make spaghetti. Oh no! You're meeting all my standards! I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date later, after I capture you! Iris is thinking about what to wear for his date. Continue flirting. Oh no! Let's date later, after I capture you! Am I gonna have to be mean to this poor guy? Thinking about what to cook for his date. Eh, well we can just get Flirt, but to no avail. Seems like acting won't escalate this battle. Let's date later, after I capture you! Dab's bone cologne behind his ears. Spare. So you won't fight. Then let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. It's one even I can deal with. Oh, that's new. You're blue now. That's my attack! <laughs> I'm blue now. Okay. Blue now. Still gonna spare. Hmm, I wonder what I should wear. Iris taps MTT bland bishy cream behind his ear. Holding the up button to jump! <laughs> Anime powder behind his ears. What? I'm not thinking about that date thing? Ow, ow. Cute juice behind his ear. Hold it up longer to jump higher, jeez! It's not the issue, buddy. The issue is I'm terrible at this. Traction slime behind his ear. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack! Almost taste my future popularity. Oh, come on. Realizes he doesn't have ears. Yeah, better read this. Papyrus, head of the royal guard. Bones. What happens? Too busy fighting to accept your insult? Unparalleled Spaghettator! Ow, ow, ow. 
firing a bone attack. You don't say. Undyne will be really proud of me! You're too weak! I was easily able to capture you. I will now send you to the capture zone. Or, as Stans calls it, our garage. You're in the doghouse now! <laughs> well, I just wasted some uh, stuff there. It's a squeaky chew toy. It's too small to be slept on. Unfortunately, it's just dry food. It's a note from Papyrus. Sorry, I have to lock you in the guest room until Undyne arrives. Feel free to make yourself at home. Refreshments and accommodations you have been provided. Nearly yours, Papyrus. Yeah, I thought so. He never makes the bars. Well, just gonna head into here and... Nap in the end. Welcome to Snowden. Here's your room key, make sure to bundle up. Hiya! Yeah. You look like you had a good sleep. Which is incredible because you were only up there for about two minutes. Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're gonna stay there. Save. Sight of such a friendly town fills me with determination. Anything else to say? Head back over. It's locked. Now let's see what happens if I walk out this way. Still much colder. And who do we run into this time? Still Papyrus. Oh, where could that human have gone? Wait, it's right in front of me! Hello! I was worried that you had gotten lost! It sure is a relief to know that you're right here. Wait a second. You're not supposed to escape! Get back there! He's continuing to block the way. Why are you gonna make me blue papyrus? Me, buddy. Jail before, but this time I've upgraded the facilities. Not only will you be trapped, but you won't even want to leave. <laughs> Upgraded. Please ask before you escape. When you went missing, I got worried sick, slightly bone trousered. Papyrus. No 
still the same. Still the same people here. I mean, frankly, when I continue doing this, uh, arguably it just makes each of these loops longer, which is maybe not the best, but eh, whatever. And I suppose it's more working towards that armor being so much cheaper. So much cheaper. out this way. Nice camp. Jerry came too. Okay, ignore your hat. Sneeze without covering its nose. Um, Jerry. Everyone knows Jerry. Next attack's two seconds longer. I suck at this. Yes, I do! Well, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ditch you, Jerry. Jerry's disappearance. Steal your hat. But it's not weakened enough. Help, fashion police! <sighs> Seems defeated. Jerry here. Okay, so that was a new monster and me reminding myself how to actually fight the ice cap. Let's go see if we can't actually help that poor uh, guy who's stuck out here. Decorate. Snow Dragon is parent. Yeah, I bet it is. Slightly less irritated. Continue on decorating. Lenticular bookmark of a small teen wink. Smug teen. Irritated. Stripe King, use this tiny king to walk on it. Weight has been lifted. I'm glad. Problems have been taken away. Gift. Because you can't think of an appropriate gift. Oh, you shouldn't have. Problems have been taken away. Oh, there you go. Zero XP, zero gold, but I feel better about myself. I was determined to do this. Arguably. Well, let's 
see how many times we have to do that. Huh? Got something else to do. Ice cap, Jerry King 2. Let's continue ignoring. Yeah, I do suck at this. I, again, Jerry, we've gone over this. <laughs> well, don't I feel silly. Just stay in the middle and it doesn't touch. You don't care. Good. Ow, ow, ow. Wi-Fi here sucks. Smells like Jerry. Smells like a bitch. At this point, um, again, I don't really have that much to say. I need I think it's a neat idea how Jerry just, you know, makes each attack um, last two seconds longer, but, you know, what you gonna do? Again, eh? I suppose it's my fault. I told you before that I would make you my spaghetti. It's only natural that you would want to see me, and the dire hope that I would make you some. Well, I understand. The Pyrus is hungry too. Hungry for justice! just won't work on me. I'm the persistentist, and if you think that you are persistent her, that is wrong. Grammatically wrong. Because the correct form would be not as persistentist as the papyrus. The persistentist is his! I hope you enjoyed this lesson. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a way of looking at it. Okay, what's the note say? If you're just looking for a place to stay, just ask. You don't need to fight me. Your host, Papyrus. You're back again. I finally realized the true reason why. You just miss seeing my face so much. I'm not sure I can fight someone who feels this way. But mostly, I'm getting really tired of capturing you. No. Okay. I guess I'll accept my failure. No. <laughs> I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's gonna be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Garden. My friend quality will remain stagnant. What should I say? Let's be friends. What a loser. Let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends? With me? Well then. I guess. I guess I can make allowance for you. Well, we, we haven't even had our first date. And we've already managed to be hit the friend zone. That was all I needed to make pals. Just to get people off of puzzles and then fight them. You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through. And I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. 
then, <laughs> when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface! Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle! The king of all monsters! He is... Well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. He's not Gojira. Everybody loves that guy. I am certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talk. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> the... What was he walking on? And uh, I, I suppose uh, we'll go ahead and have that date. I'm also gonna... Please don't enter. You should learn uh, privacy. Mysterious something. Oh, hello. And so you came back to have a date with me! You must be really serious about this. Yes, my name's Jim fucking Sterling, son. I'll have to take you someplace really special. Place I like to spend a lot of time! My house! This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sands! Please pick up your sock! Okay. Don't put it back down! Move it! Uh, okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room! Uh, okay. And don't bring it back! Uh, okay. It's still here! Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it! Touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. I find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. Got 20G. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. Decide to stop. Welcome to scenic my house! Enjoy and take your time. Ooh, it's my favorite game show. It says stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me! Oh, kitchen. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd! That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it anytime. Okay, why do you have a sink up there? Impressed? I increased the height of my sink! Now I can make fit more bones under it. Take a look-see! Ah! What? Catch that meddling canine! Curses! Sands? Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! Aha! Interested in my feud museum? Please, peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. That's my room! If you finish looking around, we can go in and do whatever people do when they date. Go inside? Yes, no. What is going on in Sam's room? The door is locked. 
Let's enter the bone zone. <laughs> hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. You have a computer. The internet! I'm quite popular there! I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Uh, computer's internet browser is open to a social media site. Yes! Action figures! A great reference for the theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from chubby, smiling men who loves to surprise people. Yeah! That's right! Santa! Isn't that Flagnito? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> that book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for the Critical Minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. That's my bed! If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair... Sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. So, um... If you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date? Well, uh, going a bit longer, but yeah, might as well. Okay, dating start! Dating start, okay. Here we are, on our date! I've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press the C key on your keyboard for dating HUD. <laughs> Wowie, I feel so informed! Reel it in, population egg, Tuesday, dog radar apparently, and crime. I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them on a date. Ahem! Human! I, the Great Papyrus, will go on a date with you! Yeah? Really? Wowie! I guess that means it's time for part three! Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. Bandage hanging off of you. You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing! No! Could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? Sure. I think I may have broken him. No! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am! No! Your dating power! Yeah. <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet! I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will! I can easily keep up with you. You see, I, too, can wear clothing! In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes! Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date! Behold! Cool, dude. Yeah, <laughs> what do you think of my secret style? Uh, I love it. No! A genuine compliment. However, I don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid! This date won't escalate any further. Unless you find my secret. That won't happen. There's no secret to my legs. Just hard work and perseverance. Holding my hands, I'll tell you the answer. No! I must resist! Well then, you found my secret! I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. 
a present just for you! Do you know what this is? Spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right! But oh so wrong! This ain't any old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus! Human, it's time to end this! There's no way this can go any further. Eat it. Take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do! Ah! Arr! No! Yeah, a blue bar right in your mouth. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. Hi, Papyrus! I... um... Boy, is it hot in here. Is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the Great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me! A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No! Wait, that's wrong! I can't fail at anything! Human! I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. You don't have lips. Because... Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you second f settle for second best. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go! <laughs> Look in the closet. Yes, clothes are hung up neatly inside. happens if I take a look? Nope. Sink is so tall, you can't even wash your hands. Well, um, I think we're gonna have to call it for there, considering that we've uh, blown past our normal time mark. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, meet back up with the ladies, and we will go ahead and talk about the silliness. See you soon. Okay, we're back on. Well, it's up to jump over the bones. <laughs> yes. I mean, it's all right. You you got past it eventually. <laughs> Three uh, kitties. By Even beating my head against kitty. the bones. Uh, yeah. I kind of feel like that might have been one of the ones where I would have been better off with the keyboard rather than the analog stick, but eh, whatever. It's yeah, fine. Uh, so yeah, so uh, if you got to the... So you didn't miss too much because obviously they let you kind of... Uh, you know, slide past relatively unscathed if you uh, fail three times, but uh, the one thing you missed there was uh, if you go long enough, you eventually get to see his ultra-secret at uh, attack, which is a uh, bunch of bones on a uh, on a skateboard that just say, cool dude. Uh, <laughs> they get stolen by the uh, by the same dog that was under the uh, under the sink. Okay. The, the annoying dog is a recurring is a recurring feature and is also uh, as a small the least right thing uh, the the avatar used by Toby Fox himself. Right, right. You've mentioned that. massive furry mm -hmm. boy, little dog boy. Anyway, uh, but yeah. So congratulations, you successfully made it into the friend zone. <laughs> you, you've become a bumble king. 
uh, from now on, you'll be able to call Papyrus uh, pretty much once every time, uh, like once in each zone, to get some unique dialogue, uh, and he can give you a little advice in certain situations. Uh, Is it advice that I want to take? <laughs> maybe not so often, but you know what? <laughs> it's it's there. But it's, it's advice. It's a, yeah. You know, in the like at the end of the day, you probably won't exactly be hurting if you uh, if you got a little bit of extra help. <laughs> yes, that's true. That's very true. But hey, on the upside, you're getting closer to the point where we'll be able to uh, potentially get that Tem armor. So uh, I have a feeling you might end up using that when uh, when you get to uh, when you oh, get to the next oh, major yes. boss fight. Oh yes, I, but I think I, that I think... is very likely. You, you might not be able to afford it when you first reach it, but I have a feeling that sometime uh, between when you actually start and when you finish the next major boss fight, you will be able to afford that time armor. <laughs> uh, this seems likely. <laughs> so it's a bit of a tricky one. Papyrus is reasonably easy by comparison, so um should be fun. <laughs> I'm fucked. <laughs> On the upside, you not band. buying the uh, manly bandana is going to uh, make uh, buying the armor a little bit easier. Hmm. Well, I suppose that's something. Eh. Bruno, do you have any helpful advice for uh, for our dear runner? Uh, you can't open up the the secret door. Oh yes. Why, I... why did you go back, by the way? Um, mostly just because of the whole thing with um, them talking about the Christmas tradition and that you know, particular monster being out there. It, it felt wrong. That's fair. Uh, so yeah, the, the, the door though, uh, we, we did a little look ski into it because we didn't actually remember exactly what it did, but apparently uh, if you, uh, once you've finished uh, the, the true ending and if you, like, there's a little bit involving dodging uh, like a bullet hell section involving the credits, and if you can successfully like perfect run that, uh, that section, uh, the door unlocks, and it's uh, basically a secret room where you get to go and, you know, look at, like, a bunch of, uh, like, hidden stuff. I will never see this. You will probably never... Like, here's the thing. Yeah. I have... I, I don't think I've ever actually managed to beat the uh, the credits without taking a single hit, so... It's not easy. Yeah. I have I have never, ever reached the credits. It was on oh, my last computer. I was in the final boss fight, and my last computer was so slow... That getting to that point took over, uh, took like an hour. Mm. It, it every, the, the, everything slowed down on my computer because my computer was fucking trash and, and CPU was terrible. I, I remember um, the stories. But yeah, I never was actually able to finish True Pacifist. And then at the time, uh, Steam Clam doesn't work for that game. Mm. So um, I got screwed down a bit. I'm gonna try Genocide Run after that. How did that go? Uh, I couldn't beat Undyne. That's fair. Well, let's not, uh, uh like, uh... Good luck with that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll be fun. It's going to go poorly, I'm assured of this. Hey, on the upside, she's very good at getting you Tem Armor very quickly. <laughs> yeah, um... She's a very good best friend. Yeah, um, so, I mean, I remember Papyrus being talked up uh, by Jim Sterling, you know, a mm. long, long time ago. I, the more I see of his character, the less I really like of him. Fair enough. I, he's... It's okay least, to hate ace people, it's okay for the... You no, no, do it's them. not that. He feels one note. Fair enough. I mean, you're wrong, but it's it's cool. You can have a bad opinion. Again, like <laughs> kidding, I said, kidding, he, kidding, he kidding. feels one note, and yeah. the self-obsession doesn't particularly endear me to a character. Fair enough. Though, I mean, like I mean kind of interestingly enough, uh, some of the stuff that he was talking about, about, you know, trying to go ahead and be in a relationship and make it work because that, you know, that's what you're supposed to do. That actually rings a bit truer to me than not. So that, that was kind of interesting. Yeah. Well, I, I, I look forward to seeing how you feel about uh, the rest of the characters as we continue forward. Uh, but for the time being, though, I feel like this is about everything we should uh, discuss 
that has occurred up to this point so far. Okie dokie. Well, I guess uh, next time I will progress onward after taking a quick nap. I don't think I'll actually do that on screen. That is entirely fair. So we'll see you all next time. Until next time, folks. Bye. Bye. Bye.